is they announced the PlayStation 5 Pro, uh, and that came out to not a very happy reception, you know, which is, which is, uh, honestly, um, as a person who, who has had every PlayStation and, uh, you know, loved, loved the, the series of consoles, uh, I was looking forward to getting a PS5 Pro, and I'm not so much anymore. Not totally against it or anything like that. Not like super upset that it exists or any kind of weird, you know, like anti Sony thing, whatever. But um, I do, I do. Uh, my what's the word? Excitement has waned a bit. What is going on? What is this? Oh, preparations. My excitement has waned a bit after seeing what they're offering and and honestly the 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 main thing before we, we before the price because the price is high for the thing right for for the ps5 pro but the thing that really like made me go wait i don't know if i, I want to get this is it doesn't have a disk drive built in you know it doesn't have this drive built in way back in the day way back in the day there was the the sega genesis and the Sega Genesis had attachments, right? This is, uh, in the 90s, Sega had the Genesis, and then it had the Sega CD, then it had the 32X, and you had to like, you know, pretty much stack it up and build it to play your games. Like, I mean, the Genesis was like one uh, flat console, for the most part, and then you had to put that on your Sega CD, to be able to play able to play CD games, that was amazing. By the way, that was something that was like, wow, this is really cool. You know, the games looked better, it sounded better. It was like such a big deal. You know, but then um, you then uh, the 32x, you know, it boosted the graphics even more, and it was really cool thing about it is though you know you kind of kept it all together and it was just one big you know uh i don't know how to describe, other other way to describe it except say like one big you know power rangers megazord of a of a, a thing you had to move around if you decided to move it you know um and it took a lot of space uh with the playstation 5 it's, it's big enough already that the newer model is a little more slim than the original ones right so that's good but um it's still pretty good size and then to add a separate disk drive on top of that um is to me gonna be cumbersome and it's not gonna it's not gonna look good you know um but that also plays into the next part the price so it is priced at uh i want to say is it six hundred dollars or seven um, I think it's seven hundred bucks. It's like let me see how much it Let me check right now before I, I just start spewing a whole bunch of nonsense. Cause you know when people when people say things, they be like five ninety nine. Ah, uh, at seven hundred dollars, so six ninety nine, six hundred ninety nine dollars. Let me see how uh, I hit those six hundred ninety nine dollars for the PS five Pro. Uh, can you bet? Hey. Uh, right? That's how much it costs. Uh, $700 for the PS5 Pro. Now, that $700 could be justified. Right? It could be justified. But the thing about it is, you can't justify it not having a, a disk drive. Like, that. that's something that... You know, when I pay that much money for something, I want it to be complete. You know? Um... I don't want it to have to then go buy extra components. Oh, snap. Extra comp I'm getting whipped right now. Extra components for it. And then have to, um, you know, spend my money like that. I, I, I want it to come fully to, together. That's a premium price. You want everything done. I mean, that's the whole point of something being premium. Usually, it's like quality and convenience, right? But it doesn't feel like uh, that's what you're getting with this. Now, as far as the graphical improvements, there are there are some, right? Dang, dude, there, there are some. But yo, um, is it worth seven hundred bucks? 
that's the thing. I don't know that it is. You know? Because even, even with the PS5 Pro, sorry, the PS4 Pro and the PS4, it wasn't absolutely necessary, but it ran a lot faster. It did run faster. I, I played games that took a long time to load that when I played on the PS4 Pro, they didn't load as slowly. And I was grateful. <clears throat> and I appreciated it. The PS5, the PS5 is running pretty fast. The, the thing about it now is technology hasn't really, really improved that much in the past couple of years for a number of reasons. Uh, we had, obviously, the pandemic, which, uh, you know, threw things for a loop and chip manufacturing and stuff like that. But um, as far as, you know, uh, e even the rise of, uh, of Bitcoin kind of hindered things for a bit because everybody was buying up the video cards that you, for um, Bitcoin mining and they weren't readily available the prices were ridiculous like you know a lot of that stuff affected normal people uh, I mean, people who are just like you know trying to play some games and have some fun you know uh being able to get the products they need right the video cards and stuff like that so a lot of that has hampered the development of technology in terms of video gaming in the past couple of years right um with that being said uh in the PlayStation 4 era there were things happening to which you could see the PS4 and even the Xbox One and all stuff like that were kind of behind on on the, on the PC. The PC person, you know, um, had a bit of an advantage, even though it was hard to get parts and stuff. I remember trying to build a PC to play, oh gosh, what's that game? It's a mech battle game. Titanfall. Titanfall 1. I was so in love with that game when I saw it because, pardon me, when I saw it because I love mechs, you know, Gundam, uh, Neon Genesis, you know, just the idea of it, Power Rangers to some extent, you know, with the, uh, the Megazords and stuff like that, like, I love it, giant, giant robot battles, I like it a lot, so I was really excited, I tried to build a computer at that time, and it was hard to get certain parts at some point, because, um, of, you know, Bitcoin wasn't in, in full swing yet, but I remember there being a whole bunch of things happening. It's Titanfall and Titanfall 2, where uh, I had to put <laughs> the, the price of, um, of video cards was just ridiculous. So just the, for, one I, for the ones I wanted, which weren't even that powerful, it, it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> it didn't make sense, right? So all that, all that to say that, um, you know, it was more of a need for at the time, but things didn't progress so much. Right now, the PS5, the PS5 is really good, right? Um, in terms of, as a machine. It loads super fast, right? And, and it, it's all on a, you know, a SSD. I have a SSD, in, in, an extra one of mine, so I have the um, extra terabyte, two terabytes, and it loads super fast. There's no there's no real improvements they can make besides, like, you know, <clears throat> the graphical fidelity or whatever. They can make the backgrounds look, look, uh, look better. <clears throat> but it's not a huge jump in graphics, so or download, sorry, download, or uh, loading times. So it's like, you're not really gonna see that uh, as easily. I'm sure if I saw a PS5 Pro playing in, in person, I'd be like, yeah, man, that's pretty cool. And I might see the difference, I wanna get it. But I just built a PC, <clears throat> you know, so, um, with, with, with comparable specs. So I'm not gonna um, be as excited. Why don't, why, why don't I just teleport here? I'm running back and forth, excited for the PS5 Pro, but, I was because I just always grabbed the new Sony console. That's it's just, you know, it's just the thing that uh, I've been doing for years. So, with that being said, I'm, I'm not as excited because when the price, they don't have the um the the disc drive attached, um, and I really don't see the need for it now. My my thing was uh, I was ready to trade in uh, you know PS5 for the PS5 Pro, but. I gotta look to see what the price is for trade-ins on um, the PlayStation Five, right? Because even because the PlayStation Five, uh, I, I, I'm you know it's early in the morning. My <laughs> my memory is uh, not doing great right now. But um, I don't I don't remember how much the PS Five costs. I think it's five hundred dollars. <throat> Let me take a look at the PS Five price real quick. Alright, I'm gonna go to Sony PlayStation Direct and look at the price for just a straight up PS5. It says four hundred and forty-nine dollars, right? And 
that's a digital version and then four ninety nine, five hundred dollars for the um one that has the disk drive i see i believe it looks like that's the one let me t zoom in a little bit yeah so f you say 499 they have a digital version that comes with nba nba 2k 20 nba 2k 25 whatever uh yeah but, but let's just say it's 500 dollars, right cool if you trade in your playstation i don't think you can get 500 bucks for it even if you did you would then have to pay up 200 dollars for the pro <clears throat> right if you get 400 for it, then you have to pay up $300 for the Pro. So then it is like the price of buying a console, you know? But the thing about it is, uh, I, I got to do more searching. And I don't know, I'm, I'm talking more than I'm playing today. But uh, it, this <laughs> first I thought about it uh, this morning, right? Um, uh, let me see how much the PS5 attachment, um, this, this drive. PS5 disk drive looks to be 80 bucks. $80? Yeah, $80. 80 $80 for the PS5 disk drive. So you're talking about the, the console really costs uh, $780, right? If you want to play your, your games, your physical copy, your physical copies of games. I have a bunch of games um, physical. Um, that's my preferred way of getting games. Even if the game's gonna download whatever it is, I want my physical copies, right? Um, so I, that'd be like seven eighty. Most people, are, I I wanna say most people are gonna want the physical copies of the games. So um, that's gonna be seven eighty. So you're gonna be paying an extra if you trade in your PlayStation Five, like three eighty, almost four hundred dollars. You know, um, not including tax, whatever it is. <sighs> Just, just for the console, just for um, that. So you can, you're not like you're just trading in a one for one or, or with a little bit of a, a thing. You're trading in, and then there's a huge difference in price. You're gonna have to pay for it to continue. So, what, are you in the what am I here for again? I don't, head to open a restaurant. I'm here. Okay, here we go. All right. That that's um that, that's that's what I'm saying. So all that stuff to me um does not really give me the the best outlook on the PS5 Pro, you know, uh, as much as I, I, I was looking forward to it. I might have to wait, it's coming out in November, I think it's November 7th. That's 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 what happened with that. That's what happened with the, the, the PS5 thing yesterday. I, the, there's a lot of information about it, about the specs, about the, the, the bigger GPU, the more RAM, the this, the that, all the things that make it uh, run better, which is great. You know, um, they're promising performance mode, uh, performance with better graphics, like a lot better graphics. But man, seven hundred seven hundred and eighty really, if you want to disk drive, is a lot to to ask for. I know I, I got the God of War. You could you, know, you can see it back there, the God of War Ragnarok, Juntar edition. And I don't think it was seven hundred dollars for it. I don't remember how much it was now, but it was I'm hundred percent sure it was seven hundred bucks for it. And you get, you get a great game, and you get a you know the console and all that stuff. You know, but I'm, I'm I'm not here just to to, to, to bash on the the PS Five Pro or whatever it is. I'm sure some people are gonna get it, they're gonna enjoy it, and whatever it is, and I think that's cool. Uh, that's really cool. But they, I don't know, man. I don't think they're gonna drop the price any further. And they didn't even drop the price of the PlayStation Five regular, which, you know, which would, would create a bigger difference in the in the prices. Um, so that that would be kind of like maybe not working in their favor. But at least you know you would feel like well you have a better option definitively. And then if you really want to splurge, you can get the other one. You know. Uh, I saw somebody say, uh, "What was that? What was that thing?" I saw somebody say, "Well, all you." I think it was a comment somewhere where they were. It might have been on a PlayStation video uh, of the the video of the PlayStation. It was like all you people paying twelve hundred dollars for the PS Five, uh, you know, from scalpers. You taught Sony that you, you you're willing to pay more money for the thing. You know what I'm gonna look at? Cause we know what was expensive. 
now that I think about it, again, I'm talking way more than I'm playing. I'm, you know, I'm sorry about that, but I, I just thought about it right now. Um, PS5. How much was the PS3? It was November 11, 2006. It was release date. I remember I got it. I tried to get it the first night they came out. And uh, I, I was working at a retail store at the time. We all tried to buy it. And they told us we couldn't buy it because we worked at the store. So we had to get um get out. I, I, I got my uh, my girlfriend at the time, who's, who's now my wife. Uh, I got I got her to stay in the line for me to try, to try to get it. Like, so... I think I want to say all night. Like I want to say it was from like midnight to like six in the morning. Like we we took turns standing in the line, but at the end when it came turn to time to uh, buy it, like she had to be at the front of the line or be in the line to buy it. We weren't allowed to purchase it, and then somehow we still weren't able to get it. I can't remember why. I was so upset, <sighs> so upset. Um, but anyway, my whole point my whole point of mentioning that was because the release price of the PS5 was it says $599 inflation price $733 or $879 okay I don't know how uh, whatever it is but it says $499.59 so $600 and so they said now adjusted, adjusted for inflation that would be $733 so my point to this was the PS3 came out and it was super expensive. People complained about how expensive it was, and it was a great system, machine. It was a great machine, but uh, it was super expensive as well. And people bought it, um, and things worked out. So people will buy this, I'm sure, but you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's gonna flop because of the price. You know, but it's definitely gonna be uh, be an issue <clears throat> for, uh, for most people because they don't, the value doesn't seem to be apparent. 